Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at another Pokemon that you're not going to have to raid to use in the Open Master League and that is going to be Excadrill. The small but hard hitting Pokemon here that is going to be putting in the work and is amazing we all know this and you can go out there and grind for it and you're not going to have to do raids to actually get XL candies so simple as that. With that said if you do enjoy my content please hit that like button. Again I really do appreciate the support everybody has been giving me. If we can keep it up that'd be amazing make sure you are subscribed too and do have notifications on all right so excadrill we're going to be pairing it up with rayquaza the entire time as far as the third pokemon it is going to fluctuate we're going to be using several different ones out here uh but with that said let's go ahead and take a look now if you're going to be using ah, i mean excadrill is amazing that's why we're showcasing it it is an amazing pokemon that you do not need to raid uh, but Groudon is really where it's at, to be honest. But that requires a ton of rating, right? Legendary at that. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and see. Rayquaza taking care of the Lugia. We are shieldless on both ends here. No health on the Rayquaza. They're bringing in Ho-Oh, but I'm able to get off a breaking swipe just on time. Perfect. And we're going to be going down, bringing in Excadrill. We're going to be getting one-shotted by a Sacred Fire, of course. No shields and they're catching a rock side on their Dialga. Here we go. Oh boy. So I'm going to have to farm them down. Is a rock side going to be enough to take them out here? Come on. This is going to be four times effective. Excadrill hit so hard and we're taking out the Ho-Oh. One of the biggest Pokemon is getting beaten by one of the smallest. Let's get it. Next battle. Leading with Zacian this time. Okay. And no wild charge for us here. But what you're going to want to do is build up to do close combat to kind of simulate that you are going to be going for potentially two. Or just cap out at 100 energy. We're going to go ahead and go obviously for the play rough. And try to get to another one here. We're going to let this go. I mean, Ancient Power, it's not going to KO. Getting to another play rough, which is going to do some good damage. They've used one shield and we still have two. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to bring in obviously... Rayquaza, so uh, Excadrill is not going to be able to farm them down with a quick move or do any damage whatsoever. So we're going to have to get off this rock slide immediately. We've got two shields and they're bringing in a Florges. This is a good sign, maybe? They could potentially have Dialga in the back and uh, Rayquaza doesn't really want to see that with that Dragon Breath damage. And Rayquaza being part steel and taking reduced damage from Dragon. Letting that Dazzling or uh, Disarming Voice go. Good thing we did because we need to hold on to those shields here. And now we're going to go ahead and shield up. If they don't want to swap, they should swap right now, right? So they don't farm them up. And it's going to be a Dialga, and they've got one shield left. So one-to-one -one shield. Let's see what we have going on here. And they're letting it go, which really confused the hell out of me. I immediately swap into the Rayquaza, and we're going to be able to Dragon Tail down Florges as well as Dialga with the Rayquaza. Next battle, leading with Zacian, and we're met with a Metagross. Horrible lead. So what you're going to do for this one is, again, build up to two close combats and then throw these back to back here. And it's as simple as that. Retreat into whatever you do have that you think is going to be countering it the best. For this case, I don't want to go hard right away. I think I, yeah, I just bring an Excadrill. <laughs> Not particularly the best idea because now we're going to probably see a Kyogre. Yeah, exactly. There it is. There's the Kyogre. So... Another massive Pokemon is going to absolutely destroy us with that super effective quick move damage. But before we do go down, we are going to raise hell and bring it down into the low red. Just a couple more hits. Now, they were not even able to get to a Thunder at this point, right? So we can easily bring in our Rayquaza, let this go, and then farm them down and have a little bit of energy ready to go for whatever they do bring into the fight here. It is going to be a Yveltal, okay? So Metagross has very low health. Oh, I don't know about this one here. So I was contemplating, should I shield this up? We lower their attack. We can survive this. Okay, so we let it go holding onto our shield. Getting a little bit close here. Don't know what, uh, <laughs> what I'm saving that shield for. Metagross does have energy, but at this point, it's just going to be best for them to quick move us down. So I immediately swap into the Zacian. And, all right, we have the shield. Is this going to come in handy? We got that quick move through. Come on. And, oh, the Yveltal got a quick move through. We're having a double KO there. Okay, sounds good. Next battle, leading with Kyogre this time, all right? And we're going to be met with the Melmetal. This is a good lead. They're going to be swapping into Mewtwo. And we're going to bring in Rayquaza. Look at that quick move damage. Unbelievable. Super strong. And that is going to be, okay, Shadow Mewtwo. No wonder. I was like, damn, that's doing a lot of damage. All right, so Shadow Mewtwo taking a ton of damage. And we shield up their Psy Strike. And they let that Breaking Swipe go. Because they want to be bringing back that Melmetal. They, they want to be bringing. All right, so we do have Hurricane on our Rayquaza. I just decided, I was like, okay, I'll use an Elite Charge TM. I've used like three or four in the past couple of days just carelessly. 
because it's going to be nice to have a nuke move and I barely go for aerial ace and when I had ancient power I didn't really go for that. Alright so we keep on getting off these breaking swipes here. Wanted to go for hurricane but it's not worth the build up and yeah they're retreating with energy and they do have a Lugia in the back. Alright Kyogre it's up to you kind of for now. We're going to see if we can get a shield out of them here from a serve. Oh right beautiful we do. And they've got one shield that if I swap into our Excadrill, knowing they're going to probably throw Aeroblast, but we are still, still taking a ton of damage because Excadrill is just that squishy Pokemon. All right, going to go for the Rock Slide here. They are locked in here with their Lugia. They are shielding it up. Sounds good to me. And at this point, I was thinking, all right, it's probably not worth shielding. We'll let it go. And we'll hold on to that for the Kyogre. Since we've gotten all their shields, we're going to go for Arrow or... Origin Pulse. Man, all these new moves are starting to get a little confused here. Okay, so taking out the Lugia, and we're shielding up this Melmetal. This is getting a little bit close. Can we get to serve? And we do. Probably right as they got to their charge moving, Kyogre is going to be able to take the win for us. Looking good. So the Excadrill is putting in the work. It is absolutely amazing here. Next battle leading with a Mewtwo met with a Reshiram. All right, so we got Mewtwo action going on here. And we got the Excadrill in the back. Towards the end, we are going to start leading with Excadrill for the last two battles, which I should have done the entire time. I should have. Uh, all right, so they're letting that first Ice Strike go. And let's see what we got. Shielding up a Crunch. Didn't care what they were going to throw. Fusion Flare, Crunch, it doesn't really matter. And of course, they're getting the defense debuff. Building up to almost two Ice Strikes. Going for the first one here. They're shielding it up. We get to the next one. I was thinking, do you really want a double shield? If they shielded up that first one, they probably do, of course. So we swap into our Rayquaza, which was a horrible idea. They go for Fusion Flare, which is still doing a ton of damage because Rayquaza can't take a damn hit. Going for the Breaking Swipe as they do bring in their Dialga here, and this is not a good situation to be in because they're going to be able to farm us up. We did bring him down below yellow, which is pretty good, although Excadrill essentially one-shots Dialga anyways. So Draco Meteor is going to do a lot. We did reduce the damage, but it's still bringing us down into the yellow and now into the red, as the Dragon Breath did bring us there. Go for the Drill Run after farming up a little bit of extra energy, and they do have a Groudon. Okay. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Mewtwo. You can make it to the Psy Strike, right? This is the last Pokemon. And we do. Is this going to be enough to KO? Absolutely. I was hoping so. <laughs> okay, we're taking the win there. That was a close battle. Looking good. All right, pull that one off. Next one, what are we going to see? Lead with the Alga this time. Net with a Veltol. Now we need to look out for Focus Blast. That will pretty much one-shot you. Yeah. Okay, so you got to look out. All right, getting to the Iron Head. We don't need to build up to the Draco Meteor. It's really not worth it because the Veltol is pretty squishy as it is. So we can go straight for the Iron Head. Shielding this up, and of course it's going to be a Dark Pulse. Now they could have Hurricane, and they're retreating into a Metagross. So we immediately swap into our Excadrill here, which is not going to be enough to KO with this Drill Run. Bringing them down pretty low. They could go for a Earthquake. I would assume they will. There's no need not to. We're going to let it go because we don't want to use our last shield here. We'll just farm them down with our Dialga. I was thinking about going in there with the Rayquaza, but we'll go ahead and build a little bit of extra energy with our Dialga here. Bring in a Zacian. Good thing I did because this is perfect. Now we have enough energy to go for these Iron Heads here. Was waiting for a potential catch, which would have almost been enough to KO the Aveltol. It does have energy, so they probably need to be careful with that. Letting that one go, and now they're shieldless swapping. And I'm thinking, come on, catch a close combat. Did I? I freaking caught a close combat with Rayquaza. Let's go, folks. That was amazing. All right, now we're looking good. I, yeah, no, I was impressed with that. I was like, yes, that was, we were not going to be able to pull that off unless we did that catch there. It was looking pretty bad. Farming down the Yveltal, we're just going to go for a breaking swipe up against that Zacian here. And uh, what happened? Why is it, why is it lagging? Okay, now we're taking the win there with the Rayquaza up against Zacian. Next battle, we're met with a Landorus. Okay, okay, that's fine. They're going to be swapping. They did not like that into a Dialga. We immediately bring in our Excadrill here, and we're just going to start throwing this immediately. There's no time to waste. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to farm them down, and a Draco will be enough. So what we're going to have to do is shield this up, farm them down, and it is an Iron Head bait. Oh boy, baby, let's go. All right, so our Rock Slides are still going to do quite a bit because, well, Landorus just can't take a hit, and it is going to be part flying after all, and this is Pokemon Go, so... You still take damage, even if you're going to have a part resisting that. All right, so we got off two. We're landing one. They shielded up one, and they have a decent amount of energy. Go one for their superpower right away, so they lowered their attack. We don't want to bring in Rayquaza, and they got a Yavelto. So that was kind of a slow swap on my end there. Could have did it a little bit faster, but at least we do have energy on our Mewtwo. 
Nah, I mean, it would have been better if I swapped into Rayquaza faster. I was just kind of processing, oh, what should I do? Okay, you got one Pokemon left. What do you think? So we swap into our Rayquaza here. Now we're looking good. We shielded up that first one. We lowered their attack and we can farm them down. Perfect. Rayquaza. Do you see why I keep using it? It's really fun. It may be contributing to some losses because it gets me just locked up against a Togekiss or a Zacian or something and I can't get to Hurricane, but man, when it's doing stuff, it really is. Next battle, I met with the Dialga. Okay, with the Mewtwo, this is fine. We'd have a double Legacy Mewtwo here and I do like this one, although you could go with Focus Blast or I guess even an Ice Beam or maybe even a Flamethrower, depends on what you want to run, but you always want Psy Strike for sure. All right, so shielding up this Iron Head. Landing the Shadow Ball, that's really good. I'm gonna go for a Psy Strike, we should pull up a shield here. Bam, looking good, and getting to another one, but they're gonna be throwing first, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, we're not gonna use two shields. We'll bring in an Excadrill, hopefully we can farm them down. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! They had one HP left, are you kidding me? Iron Head, uh, taking damage. Not very effective, but whatever. Kyogre, oh boy, oh boy, let's have some fun here, I guess. Going for a drill run and immediately swapping. Tell me you have a Kyogre or a <laughs> Groudon in the back. They're not swapping. They might have it. Oh boy, they're shielding it up. What is in the back? Oh, Mute. oh, okay, Mewtwo, that works, that works. Uh, gonna go for a breaking swipe here. And we still have one shield, so I think we're definitely gonna wanna shield up this Mewtwo. Just to preserve, the Rayquaza is too good right now. And the Excadrill does have a charge move. This shouldn't KO. We should barely survive here. Okay, we do get off another one. Let's go. One more Psycho Cut would have taken us out. So I'm going to get this off here. This is getting close. I have to immediately swap and go for the drill run immediately with the Excadrill up against the Kyogre. We take that win and they have energy on that thing. Let's get it. All right, next battle. What are we going to see here with the Mewtwo up against the Velto? Okay. Swapping into... Uh, Rayquaza, which is a pretty risky thing to do, and they're going to be bringing in Metagross here. And I want to show you a little bit of a mistake. I do believe this is the battle. I should have shielded this up just to preserve our health because I didn't realize how little the bullet punches were going to do. And now they're going to be able to get, gain a lot of farm, and they're shielding up too. So if I would have shielded that up, we would have been looking great. I would have gotten to another one, and look, we're bringing them down pretty low anyways. That's, that's not bad. And they used the shield too. All right, so Mewtwo, it's up to you. We double debuff them. We'll let that Meteor Mash go. Getting to the Shadow Ball, we're going to throw it immediately because that thing had a bunch of energy. I'm not trying to play any games. Going to go ahead and take them out. Of course, they're going to be bringing in Yveltal, so we immediately swap into our Excadrill and get off the Rock Slide. This is going to do a ton. Yveltal really can't take a hit while Excadrill hits super hard. So we will shield this up. I don't care if it's a Focus Blast or a Dark Pulse. We still have to preserve this thing no matter what here. I was waiting for a catch, so I was kind of being a little bit careful, but they're not going to. They're going to go ahead and use their last shield here, which is perfect. We should be able to outpace them, but I was thinking they might catch this next one, so we need to be careful. And we're going to be able to throw perfect. So what's in the back? It's going to be what? A Dialga? Show me a Dialga. Beautiful. Now this drill run's not going to KO, but they can't drag and breath down. So they're going to be forced to throw. And then the Mewtwo does have enough health for us to get to a psy <laughs> Psycho Cut. Psy Strike. I don't know why I'm mixing on my words right now. And uh, we'll take the win here. And Mewtwo putting in that work like it usually does. And also the Rayquaza will be equipped, as you've seen in the beginning, 100% IV. Uh, level 51, so we're looking good on that. All right, next battle, we have a great lead. This is where when we start leading with Excadrill. Swapping into a Zacian, and I was trying to... I was like, ah, I should have been quicker with my uh, Dialga, because... Well, do we have Dialga on the team now? Yes, we do. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens here. We're catching up play rough now. A close combat will take us out at this point, so we're going to have to shield if we want to get a shield in return here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Shield up that play rough, iron head, and this will be enough. So if they don't want to go down, well, they let it go. Okay, so what they're going to do is bring in their Dialga again, I would assume. Farm us all the way down to Funky Town, and now they're going to have a ton of energy, and they can even KO us just about with the Jureko Meteor. But what they're doing is swapping and locking themselves with a Groudon. So I was going to lose, but now I'm thinking as soon as this happened, I stood up. I was like, oh. And this is our last battle, folks, so let's see what happens here. Going for a breaking swipe up against that Groudon, and now we're going to farm them down at this point. So catching that Fire Punch was great, because Precipice Blade still does a ton, even after we lowered their attack. Look at that, that's crazy. They're going to be getting off one more Fire Punch before they do go down here. Rayquaza always putting in the work like it usually does. And if I do recall, there's not going to be shielding up anything, because they're like, okay, you got me. 
it's pretty much over. And yes, it pretty much is. Let's get it. That Groudon really gets countered by Rayquaza. And yeah, taking the show, usually, usually Rayquaza does that, but Excagel putting in the work. Oh, nope, that's not the last one. Never mind. Yeah, that was an intense one. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's keep it going. We got the last one, so we didn't do any cuts here. Going from that win to the next with the Excadrill in the front, and we're met with a Togekiss, and this is going to be looking good for us here. They're going to be immediately swapping into a Garchomp, and I bring in my Rayquaza. Now, why did I bring this in as opposed to the Dialga? Well, Dialga is going to have a little bit of a better matchup all around against a Fairy-type. And they have ground moves here, so I figure we can let it go, and they're going to have to shield up if they want to win that matchup. We'll be able to go in there and farm down with the Dialga at this point. But we'll, we'll do everything opposite. You know how you know how it goes. And we're going to go ahead and call the Sand Tomb with the Excadrill. As much as I wanted to farm them down, it is not going to happen. Now, Dialga can still go up against Togekiss. So they're not going to bring that in. What you got? A Giratina Altered. Okay, well, that's going to be a tank to, ha to have to deal with here. Since we do have two shields, we're looking pretty good, though. So what's going to happen is we're not going to shield up anything. We need to hold on to those shields for the Excadrill for the very end to go up against the Alga. It is going to be one intense close battle here. Getting to the Iron Head, and what's going to happen is we're going to bring them down so low that we're going to get a couple of quick moves where the farm, which is going to help us take out the D. Oh, just one quick move. Okay, there you go. All right, so here it is. Drill run, Excadrill. It's all on you, buddy. This is your video. Show them what you got to go up against one of the biggest and baddest here. Let's get it. Now we do have two shields and they are shieldless at this point. All right, going for the next drill run. And at this point, all we have to do is just keep on spamming these as fast as we can. Now I was thinking, oh my goodness, this uh, we resist Dragon Claw, but can we survive it? Oh my goodness, come on, Excadrill, buddy, old pal. Giratina doesn't hit hard whatsoever. We survive and we get to the next drill run. Is this going to be enough to KO, folks? Is this going to do it? And it does. And Excadrill putting in that work and you don't have to raid. Thank you for watching and take care. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic! I touched the deck. This is the best day of my life.